Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. In addition to the state response to the coronavirus, there's also been a massive national response. To talk about that, we are pleased to welcome in 6th District Congressman Andy Barr uh, to talk about that. Congressman Barr, thanks for being here. Hope you and your family are staying safe at home. We are, Mary Jo, and thanks uh, for having me, and best of health to you and your viewers. Thank you so much. First of all, we got to talk about all these stimulus packages that have uh, been trying to at least maintain the economy while we're in this situation. Yes, well, obviously, it's a difficult time for so many Americans with uh, nearly 60,000 Americans' uh, lives lost. And of course, we have over 30 million Americans who have filed for unemployment over the last six weeks. So it's altogether appropriate that Congress provide assistance to families and laid off workers and also to small businesses through this Paycheck Protection Loan Program to give forgivable loans to small businesses to help them retain their workers and keep them on their payroll. Some of those small businesses, I feel like, are still searching for some relief and some, and some help. Yeah, absolutely. What we found is this program has been so successful. The demand for the assistance uh, outstrips the supply of the funds. That's why we had to go back to Washington last week and provide an additional $310 billion into the program. And we've heard many of our uh, constituents that this indeed is a lifeline and kept uh, many of their employees on the payroll during this uh, shutdown of the economy. PPE and testing are part of the uh, part of the equation when you're talking about reopening up an economy. And if I'm talking about Kentucky specifically, certainly you've seen Governor Bashir's uh, phased outline of when things should um, get ramped up again. What are your thoughts on his plan? Well, I think it's appropriate that we have a phased in plan. I think we've done a good job in Kentucky flattening the curve and we're getting to a place where we can safely reopen the economy. Ultimately, we need to get people back to work safely, continue those, uh, those uh, healthy practices of social distancing, washing hands, uh, and uh, we can reopen the economy and do it safely starting now. What do you think some of the lessons learned have been from this whole experience? And of course, we haven't seen it all play out yet. Who knows what lies ahead in six months to 12 months. Uh, but what, what do you think, what lessons can we glean from this, good or bad? Well, I think one lesson is that we need more resilient supply chains in the United States. China now controls about 80 to 90 percent of the pharmaceutical supply chain, not in terms of the pills or the medicines themselves, but the raw materials and chemicals that we depend on to make basic antibiotics and aspirin, uh, vitamin C even. And so we need to uh, reduce our dependence on China because what we don't want is what we've heard from Beijing where top communist party officials in China have said, we are going to deny Americans critical pharmaceuticals and throw Americans into a sea of coronavirus. That's just chilling. And we can't have that happen ever again. Well, Congressman, I hope uh, you get back to work uh, soon there in Washington and that we can all get back to work uh, soon here and that everyone does it safely. I know this has been a trying time. Um, it's an overused phrase, but uncharted waters and, and who knows, you know, the, nobody really could have predicted uh, this happening and, and how we uh, respond to it, but uh, we're making it. We'll get through this together, as they say. That's right. And thank you. And thanks to everybody in the, in the news media for helping keep people informed. And most of all, thanks to our frontline health workers, everybody who's pitching in during this, t this uh, difficult time. Congressman Andy Barr, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. Much more Hey Kentucky right after this.